The Pokemon Company is more profitable than ever, and the reason why might surprise you. So if you end up enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. So let's see the Pokemon Company's record-breaking year. According to a filing in the Japanese Government Gazette, the Pokemon Company has set yet another record financial year. We have sales up 70%. From the last fiscal, we also have operating profit and a net profit of 320 million US dollars. Now, the Pokemon Company is private, which means that disclosure requirements are limited. However, in Japan, some companies of that kind see their numbers disclosed in yearly intervals by the government. But since the Pokemon Company is private, we don't know where all this money is coming from, how all their operating expenses work. However, it is nice to kind of see it in a graph. So we have this showing us the year-by-year -year profit of the Pokemon Company. Remember in 2016, we went, yo, it's all Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is going to warp the company from ever. It's the only reason the Pokemon Company is profitable. Even though when you think about, like, Pokemon in general, the amount of growth, the amount of just volume that the Pokemon Company has to go through, just having tens of million in profit for a company is good regardless. But then Pokemon Go comes out, it grosses like half a billion dollars. Pokemon Company revenue, or not even revenue, profits jump over a hundred million, and then things get messy because it's like Pokemon versus creatures versus Nintendo, how all of that profit and stuff works. And then we can see it's like, oh yeah, Pokemon Go just kind of holding in there as, you know, the TCG and the merchandising and the video games do whatever. But something insane happened to where we have doubled, over doubled, the profit for the Pokemon Company in 2021-2022. Now, this includes Pokemon Legends Arceus because that's how fiscal years work. So if someone's like, well, this doesn't even count Pokemon Legends, which was the greatest Pokemon game ever, so it's going to be even crazier next year. Now, this includes Pokemon Legends, which, reminder, is the worst-selling main series Pokemon game in modern times. Actually, I think for, like, the 3DS, or not 3DS, the 3D era in general, but it is interesting to kind of show the breakdowns of where this money is coming from, because Pokemon Sword and Shield, that's 24 million units of a $60 game. That's over a billion gross pretty crazy and then once you get to a certain point you know the operating cost of like the pokemon sword and shield servers probably nothing at this point so the 1 million or so sales it's gotten in just the last year th like years after the game's release that's just 60 million dollars of pure profit potentially like you know there's just tons of pr profit right there uh same thing for like just other games pokemon Brilliant diamond shine pearl this was not a standard main series release even though it's still like a main series game and it was developed by ilka so this is going to be a more profitable game same thing for pokemon legends and it's it's hard to like piece together these numbers but you can really see that okay when we're looking at the graph like this a double main series release probably has something to do with it and this also probably confirms my theory that Pokemon Legends is a half-assed tech demo. So almost, not almost all of that, but if we're going to be hyperbolic, almost all of that is just straight profit because the game put, had like no effort put into it whatsoever. And it also kind of debunks the whole Pokemon Go thing because Pokemon Go is effectively, I wouldn't say more profitable, but it's making more money than ever as, or as much money as ever with the pandemic and a lot of like monetization. We saw this happen in 2016 where it's like, yo, Pokemon Go making insane amounts of money. Pokemon is ruined forever because it's all mobile and paid transactions from here. And then it just kind of like went down a little, went up a little, and we can see that kind of reflected in the graph, but it mostly just kind of shows like, wait, how is Pokemon Go get like... It's not taking over the world. Not everyone's playing or talking about it like they were in 2016. This isn't the Pokemon boom of that era that gave us the previous profit record for the Pokemon company. How are they making more money? Well, again, it's like more monetization, more profit, stuff like that, because uh, we have legendary Pokemon, we have more advanced raids, we have more community events. So even though there's less people playing, there's more people paying. And we can see that being reflected here. But making almost a billion dollars in revenue... But if we compare that to last year, it's like, yeah, where did where did this extra 170, 80 million come from? And that's where we have to kind of like break down the numbers and look into the game sales and stuff. Uh, TCG is pretty popular, but wasn't the boom more last year in 2021 fiscal year, not 2022? It's like nothing's really happened in 
2022. Or even 2021. Numbers are weird when you're talking about fiscal stuff. And the funny thing is, I can use A Drive scamming his audience as an anchor point for the, like, peak of the Pokemon TCG Madness. And yeah, that was 2020. So the previous fiscal year. So it's like, yeah, cards probably had something to do with it. Pokemon celebrating, like, 8 billion cards printed. Or was it 40 billion? Some kind of absurd number as well. It's like, all the Pokemon stats have just been going up and looking good. And once, you, once your company makes it to a certain point as well, you can focus on more profit. Like, we don't need research and development and marketing, and also kind of, like, branching out into other markets as well. Like, Pokemon has taken over the world. We're in China now. We're we're all over the place. So the Pokemon company, I, I think they've got everything kind of standardized, especially, like, going into Pokemon Sun and Moon, moving into the Nintendo Switch era, where it's like, yeah, we have our outsourcing for making the 3D games, we have Pokemon 3D CG, we have Creatures, Game Freak got a new office in Tokyo. So I think, like, when you look at everything, they, they kind of have, like, all their investment settled. And I, that goes back to something with Amazon, where it's like, how is Amazon stock worth so much? The company hasn't been profitable in six years. But when you look at, like, or, like, since ever, or whatever, this was back in 2014, 15, maybe where people were like kind of ragging on it, but when you look at it, Amazon was just taking all of its profit and then reinvesting it. So this could be into merchandise expansion, more game development, stuff like that. And now the fruits of that, that labor are finally blossoming. So it's like, yeah, Pokemon Go, probably good just for like st straight up profit. Like, okay, this game's taken care of. We don't really have to do anything except outsource our IP to a billion players through Niantic and Nintendo, and then we get a good cut of that. So yeah, that's actually seeming like it's doing something. But now, I think the success of the Nintendo Switch is bigger than the success of Pokemon Go and mobile games at this time. And you can see that, just like by doing the numbers of the sales. You take 15 million, multiply that by 60, oh, that's $900 million gross. And depending on how much, like, goes into the game. But that also doesn't mean it's like, oh, then that means the game costs 800 million to make. No, the rest of the Pokemon, like, there could be other areas of the Pokemon company reinvestment that isn't profitable yet. Or is just kind of about branching out the company to where these games do go bigger. And when you think about it, it's like, okay, with Pokemon Legends Arceus, we already had, like, a, sh a foundation made with Pokemon Sword and Shield for both the wild area exploration kind of thing. And also just the overall 3D environment development on the Nintendo Switch. So Nintendo Switch getting more popular, more people picking up Pokemon Sword and Shield, just general interest in Pokemon games no matter what they are with Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl Pokemon Legends, that that makes money. Now I'm also not worried because as we saw in 2016 people were like just completely wrong about Pokemon Go deciding the fate of Pokemon in the future. Same thing for Pokemon Legends. It's not like, oh, now we're going to get two main series games every year when one being made every year isn't even that good and, Pokemon, and Game Freak slipping. It's definitely not going to be that. And we already see with, like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that's going to be the biggest, best Pokemon game we've ever seen. So depending on how those sales go, that's why I'm more interested in tracking. Do we get the Animal Crossing of Pokemon with Scarlet and Violet? Does this just blow up, smash Super Smash Bros., 30 plus million sales. I'm not expecting to catch Animal Crossing. That just hit different. Um, same thing with Mario Kart. But like, we need to beat the best Legend of Zelda game. We need to beat the best Super Smash Bros. game with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to kind of have a chance for the future. But do we even need that chance for the future when the Pokemon company is more profit, like, just disgustingly profitable? That's $300 million of profit. So they can just kind of do whatever. Um, this also mentions new Pokemon Snap. I think, like, that was... That, that had, like, 2 million sales total or something. But, again, like, you can see that depending on how much money a Pokemon game costs to develop, yeah, that that made over 100 million in sales and cost 50 million to make, or however much games like that cost these days, which probably can't even be that much. It's like, yeah, that's just, that's just good amounts of money. But then, like, again, you have to think, like, where does all that money go? What, where is the Pokemon company reinvesting? Because, yeah, marketing, they spend a ton of money on ads. People get Pokemon ads on my videos, and that's those are good RPMs. So, And then the same thing with, like, running all the social channels, the company in general. Um, I imagine the CEO... Well, not, we already know the CEO, Ishihara. But um, I imagine, like, all the business sides. And, and then, again, the money has to go back to the investors. As a privately held company, and I think Nintendo has a stake, people do get paid. So I guess they also have, like, a good uh, payout as well. But, like, Pokemon has finally done something to break through all the overhead. And now whatever they do is just going to be making, like, fat stacks. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes in the future. Does it just keep on going up? Is it not only just the Nintendo Switch sales that if we have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it sells 25 million, which is under like the combined Brilliant Diamond. Actually, no, it's kind of close because Brilliant Diamond's 14 and Legends is, is 12. So yeah, if Pokemon Scarlet and Violet sells over Pokemon Sword and Shield in the first year, or like not the first year, but like the first, I think, five months for like whatever the fiscal year counts, then we're actually going to see like where that money ends up going. We can also see like around 2019 fiscal year with Pokemon Sword and Shield still making good money. Pokemon Sword and Shield still sold very, very well, but there was like some kind of reinvestment going on in here. So maybe this could be like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet development co costing insane amounts of money. Maybe. I don't even know. And then like now all that's finished. Pokemon Legends got farted out. Ilka was outsourced for uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl. And now who even knows what's going to happen in the future? Or does it dip off? Maybe this was just because of Pokemon Go floating the numbers a bit, but not like an insane amount. And yeah, so like Pokemon Company is making tons of money, even though it feels more dead than ever, which is also backed up by the sales. I'm still like very worried. That's like, oh yeah, Pokemon is the only IP not growing on Nintendo Switch right now. That's not good. But apparently the Pokemon Company is making money, so hmm, cool. I don't really see how Pokemon Unite's super profitable at this rate either. So if you guys enjoy the video, hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.